Okay, so I didn't really want to believe it, but I believe it now. We have officially reached an entirely new level of editing for the future. I don't know whether to be scared or extremely, extremely excited or extremely, extremely frightened. <laughs> Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna go over Photoshop's new Generate tool. I have played around with it a little and let me tell you, it is mind freaking blowing to a point where you don't really need to understand Photoshop to make adjustments, to, to make changes, to add completely different scenes to your images. This is insane, let me tell you. But there are some bugs, I ran into a few. And they're not big. I mean, they're just like installation bugs. The first thing that people don't tell you is this is part of the beta right now. So I'm sure you've seen all of these videos out there like, oh my God, Light, uh, Lightroom. Photoshop's new generate tool is incredible. Well, it's not part of Photoshop yet. It's part of Photoshop beta. So how do you do it? Well, you go up into your creative cloud, you go to, um, you go to beta apps here and then you download Photoshop beta. And you'll notice there's a bunch of other beta apps where they test these new features and eventually they will be added to the full Photoshop program. However, this one, the generate tool is not available yet. Now, second bug that I ran into, once I got it all download, opened Photoshop beta, threw in a photo, <laughs> I went to generate something and it said, the generate tool is only for 18 and up. I mean, I appreciate the compliment, but damn, I'm at least 21. <laughs> Anyways, so this was easily handled. I actually got in touch with Adobe uh, because I couldn't figure out it myself and you might not have this issue at all. But in order to fix it, you simply go to your cloud, go to apps, scroll down to Behance. When you click Behance, it'll ask you to enter in your date of birth. You enter in your date of birth and that should handle it. Restart Photoshop beta. And at that point you should be good to go and then you can use this amazing generate tool. Now, what is it? Okay, the generate tool is an AI generation thing that Adobe added, which basically allows you to generate and create anything. I mean anything, and it does a really, really good job. So what it does is it takes your prompts, you put in some information and it creates it based on those prompts. So let's do this, let's take our photo here and let's say we want to add a boat in the background so we use the marquee tool we just create a selection right here and then this little box here flips uh, uh, opens up we're going to click in the generate tool and we're going to click um speed uh jet ski good and you can press enter or just press generate and it takes some time the, the more involved the generation the longer it will take but it relatively for like what it's doing, it's not slow at all. So it, it just allows you to enter in whatever you want and it will create that in Photoshop without you having to do anything. Look, Ma, no hands. So there we go, there is a jet ski. Now, obviously this is just for example purposes, this looks terrible, <laughs> but you'll notice here in the properties tab, it gives you three selections. So here's one, here's two, and here's three. So there's three selections. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. We'll go into the craziness in a second. Um, now, a couple of things you can do here. You can move this. So if you press V on the keyboard, you get the little move tool here. You can move this. Now, I want you to notice that it moves an entire image. So it took the samples of the image and filled it in, but it's an entirely new image as a whole. It's not a transparent background. This isn't a picture of a jet ski. This is a picture of a jet ski with a background. So when you move it, it's gonna move the entire image. Now, how do you fix that? Well, once you've moved it to where you want it, let's say we put it here, you press generate again, it'll then generate another example of your jet ski. And I'm gonna speed these generations up so we don't waste time waiting here. Um, but it, it just re-samples the area and creates a new prompt, a new, new option for you. And you'll notice in the properties tool over here, now we have these three jet skis. Well, now we have three more jet skis. We've got this one, we've got that one, and actually that looks more real. But notice how good it matches everything. And if you move it, see, it even got the reflect, look at that, it even got her the reflection of her legs. This is insane. So we'll just move that back to where it was. It matches perfectly. It's like a little kitty jet ski. It's a good way to do a, like a, um, a 
maternity announcement, a baby announcement. <laughs> hey, we got a new little baby jet ski for our half month old. <laughs> but you'll notice that you have all these variations now. Now you can continually create variations after variations after variations at three at a time, but it does add size to the image. So if you have a variation you're not gonna use, like I'm not gonna use this one, go up here to the three dots, delete. And you can also give it a ranking. So click this one, go to the three dots. You can say good result, poor result, report result. That way it helps it learn. In this case, we're just gonna delete all these here. But that is pretty much the way this works. So let's get into some uses of, list, of this because it's insane. One of the first uses that I noticed is, let's say we wanted to expand it. We wanted to make this huge, right? So let's press the crop tool and we can expand this like this, right? So we can make this selection huge. Now we're gonna press M for the marquee tool, the selection tool. We're going to drag and draw, uh, select all the white plus a little bit of the original image. Press shift on the keyboard, start the drag here and select this other part here. Then we are simply with the background layer selected, make sure you have the correct layer selected. Let's, I'm gonna delete this actually because that was our jet skis. So with this layer selected, just simply press generative fill, don't enter anything, not a thing and press generate. This is insane. Wait for it. And, <laughs> and there we have it. Look at this. This gives content aware fill like it, it, there's no competition. This is insane. Like it looks so good. Let's zoom in here and let's just look around. I, I don't really see. I mean, I can fix that. Okay, fine. No problem over here. All of this looks really good. I mean, this just looks crazy. And I just went from a four by five photo to a perfect landscape photo that no one would ever freaking notice. Now let's even get crazier. This, 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 this thing, you guys, I, I, I don't even, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like it's so good. So here's, we're going to do another one. We're going to select this here, take the marquee tool and select the section below them. And then I'm going to type reflective reflect Oh, This is so cool. Reflective pool of water generate. We're done for. Skynet is coming shortly. And there we have it. Look at this. This, this is insane. Like, I, I mean, this is just ridiculous. The only adjustment that I would make would simply be to darken it and make it a little less orange on the reflection. That's really the only thing I would do, but that is insane. So here is the before image and here's the after image. This is madness, I tell you. Absolutely madness. We're gonna go on to the next image here. And here, this one. Okay, this is crazy. So let's say you had this beautiful image, nice silhouette of father and son, and you wanted to, you know, advertise Hyundai or something, or didn't want to advertise Hyundai, but someone didn't move their damn car. Anyways, watch this. Okay, so marquee tool select it. We're just gonna draw a box over this beautiful car. <laughs> We're going to press generative fill and put remove car. I hate that this works so freaking well, but I also love it so much. And I want you to pay attention to one little detail here and see if you notice when this removes it. Okay. I mean, what? <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. And do you notice the detail that I was talking about? What detail? did it also add flawlessly with perfect fade. That's right, the reflection of the sun on the freaking water. Before, there's no sun, there's no reflection. After, oh my God, what is life, you guys? What is life? Okay, good, let's, <laughs> it's just, I can't. I can't. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, here's the next one. Let's say we wanted to remove this road and we wanted to add some snow. Now I haven't done this one yet, so this will, this is a adventure for both of us. So we're gonna take the lasso tool and we're just gonna simply make a selection of, eh, I'm not even gonna try and do it good. Give it some challenge. Perfect, make that selection, generate full, full blah, 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 blah. generate fill. We're gonna say replace with snow. I don't, I don't even, 
I don't know how I'm gonna react if this works out so good because this is a beautiful photo as is, but let's just say there was some snow. I don't know, here we go. Come on, baby. Actually, I like, I'm hoping for it not to work so well. I'm just, I'm hoping it doesn't work because it can't be this good. Okay, honestly, could be a lot worse. That's actually really, really nice, but I do not want a path, so let's check another option. Eh, okay, that one doesn't look that great. I really don't like that. And the third option, that's not bad. I don't really like this, but realistically, that's really good. So let's look at the first option here. Okay, I can work with this. This looks better than, well, I don't know. I might like the road. Anyways, either way, it's freaking awesome how good this works. And like I said, if you don't like the three options it gives you, just press generate again, and it'll generate you a whole nother three options. Hey, you know what? It did better than I could do by myself. That's pretty freaking good. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so here we have this lovely picture of these kids walking down, looks like a street in England. But um, you know what? I wanna put a cool reflection in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the marquee cool tool, cool tool. We're gonna select this. We're gonna put reflective, oh God, I hate that this works so well. Reflective puddle. <sighs> It's just insane, like, oh my God. This is insane. So you, it, it, it's got the tower here, the little wall here, right? It has the reflection here. It's got the trees, the freaking trees, you guys, the trees. And it's got this building somewhat and then the fence here. I mean, you could clean this up so freaking easily, but this looks so good. Look at the reflection. I mean, it's not perfect, but are you kidding me? There's, oh God. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, let's take this one here. Now I want to fill all of this, oops. I wanna fill all this area with snow without her. So we're gonna press W on the keyboard. We're going to press, um, nope, we're gonna just go to quick select. No, wait, hang on, this is the beta. I don't know if this has it. <laughs> uh, some of the tools aren't there. Okay, so let's do this, select subject, because it's down here now. Excellent, we have the select subject. We're gonna click this button, which is invert the mask. So now we have the selection, everything but her. Then we're gonna take the lasso tool and we're gonna deselect all of this stuff here. Cause we like that part, right? Good, so we're gonna deselect that and the trees. Good. Okay, good. So now we have just the selection of the non snowy parts. And let's just say fill with snow. Drum roll, please. That was a terrible drum roll. I'm really not a good drum roller. I can't. I freaking can't. All right, that's, 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 that's even option one. Here's option two. Wow, that's terrible. That would be a terrible place to stand. Option three, terrible. I mean, that looks freaking amazing, but obviously she wouldn't be standing in the water, but good God almighty, this is insane. I mean. Okay, good. Final thing, which just blows my mind. All right, we're gonna go to new, open. We're gonna create um, uh, pixels. We're just gonna create a 1920 by 1080 photo. Good, create. Okay, now we have a blank canvas. What could we possibly do with a blank canvas? Oh my God, you guys don't even know. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna take the marquee tool. We're gonna select this. We're going to type in um, tall grass, um, tall grass. Okay, tall grass field. Good, I hate this, but I love it so much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, now, while we wait for this, uh, if you're liking the video, go ahead and hit the like video, like button, the like video, like the video, comment. Let me know what you think about all of this crazy. Let me know what you th what you think about all this crazy. Are we in trouble? We're in trouble. Okay, good. Next, we're gonna select the background again. We're gonna press the marquee tool. We're gonna get crazy here. All right, we're gonna st uh, put um, stormy sky. I don't even know. I'm just pulling stuff left and right here. This is... I'm out of a job. <laughs> Terrible. All right, let's redo that. What I might have to do is make a combined layer. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that. looks cool though. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna combine the layers. Good. And I'm actually okay that there is a bug here. <laughs> so cloudy sky with mountains. Try that again. 
maybe not a bug, but like it's sampling data. So we're using a blank template and it's trying to add to a blank template. So this is good. This is good. Let's figure this out. Figuring this out together, you guys. <laughs> oh, I just went to Hawaii, guys. Give me a lay. Let's go. Oh my God. Okay. Wild. You know what? Let's put a cow. All right. Let's create a new layer. Let's let's put some animals. Um, now let's just put some cows. Uh, some cows. Why not? Right? Probably. This is incredible. This is amazing. Like, and this. So one thing to note. The cool thing about this feature is you don't have to worry about doing like HD or uh, 1080 or 4K or anything like that because Photoshop automatically samples the file that you're using and matches the generated images with that file. So if you're using a large file, it's going to match the images with the large file. Look at that. There's a cow in my field and it looks so good. Oh my God. It's even behind the grass. Okay. I'm done. What is life? That's it. That, that, there you go. There you have it. You guys, this, this is insane. This is an absolutely insane tool, which just changes everything I know about editing. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to need to use any other tools. So that's it. I'm wild. Anyways, you guys, if you haven't liked the video, subscribe, I'll see you next week. I'm, I, I need to go splash my face with cold water or, or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you next week.